Oh, hey. Welcome back, everybody. It's It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Or about three months. Anyways, I'm back. Over these three months, I've been doing a lot of online shopping, and, well, you know, I was on Amazon. Guess what? I got my Prime membership and everything, and I realized there's a lot of dumb things on this website. So I did a little more researching, and I thought, hmm, why don't I get the eight dumbest things, I order them, I bring them here, and I review them for you guys. So yes, that's what we're doing today. So I got the eight stupidest things I could find, and in all honesty, a few of the things are actually pretty useful. All right, let's get started with the first thing. Ah. The Mova Globe. Well, this was honestly the coolest thing I've ever found. I actually knew about this before I was on Amazon, but I was like, hey, this is kind of like the craziest thing ever. Here it is. Wait for it to chill. Wait for the earth to like calm down, you know what I mean? All right, focus on this earth. Look at this thing. If you turn it, it won't turn. It's like you have the world at your fingertips, but like, it's like the smaller version of the world. It's not like that big, right? Obviously, it's not like planet of the earth, like the real one. There's like seven point whatever billion people. Like I'm not holding 7.5 billion people right now, but like, it's pretty close to the earth. And I actually looked into it. There's a lot of other versions of this, like Saturn, Jupiter, ooh, oh my God. Like the whole solar system, man, there's even like soccer balls. The only issue I have with it is it is pretty expensive. Price of this was about 200. It's like a super cool Christmas present. If you wanted to like hand it to someone who's like super into like the earth. I mean, we're all like, in the earth. The super cool thing about this thing is it actually comes with a stand and it moves with light. There's no like electronic shit in this or like a battery. It like, it literally turns, rotates with light. Obviously like the real earth turns from like the sun, but this just from the light in your house. Watch. Because I am obsessed with this thing, I'm gonna give this globe a solid 8 out of 10. All right, now this one I was probably the most excited for. I saw these on my heels. I could actually use these. Lazy reading glasses. Are you kidding me? Lazy readers, to be correct. You're probably like, hey, what the hell do these glasses do? They're not your typical prescription glasses, all right? Yeah, what? Yeah, that's right. Lazy readers. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm not looking at you right now. You know where I'm looking? I'm looking at the ground. I'm not looking at the sky. No, I'm actually looking at you. Through the mirror. See my eyes? I'm winking at you. Uh-huh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I just cleaned my nose. Oh my god, incredible. Let me go demonstrate. Wow, my arms are sure getting tired. Wait, if only I had lazy readers. Oh, what's this? Yep, I can see it clearly, perfectly, and that is why I got a 9.5 out of 10. Bam! Great. Alright, hypothetically, you just went on a 5 mile run. You're a little thirsty. You know what you forgot? Your damn water bottle. You know what else? There's no water bottle vending machines in sight. So you know what you got? Huh? Yeah, that's right. A personal water filter. I've seen these a lot actually, and I think they've actually like helped a lot of people. Like they've actually had like a great impact all around the world. I'm gonna try it out. I saw this on Amazon though for a reasonable price. If you're out somewhere, you don't actually have water, but there's a water source, but you kind of think it's gross. Let's go try to drink out of some weird things. All right, first test with the personal water filter, the pond. Oh God, this is a lot lower than I thought. The first sip wasn't bad. The second, um, I'm gonna have to let that one go. Not a bad product though. Let's try a little worse water. Mmm, great. Wow, that was some delicious water. Even if it had horse saliva in it. Next on the list, and this has something to do with your hygiene, your personal hygiene. I thought, you know what, sometimes my breath smells. I won't even lie, you can probably smell through the screen. I thought, damn, I keep brushing my teeth, but you know what I don't ever clean? My damn tongue. I think this was about like $20, but here it is, a tongue cleaner. It even comes with this like plastic case, pretty cool, and there's two of them. In case, I guess if you have two tongues. I will warn you though, if you're easily grossed out, I would probably skip through this part. All right, here we go. I don't want the phone on my fourth, so I'm gonna go get something. Honestly, a pretty cool product for a reasonable price. Honestly though, I am gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because I feel like it could be a little sharper and scratch more of your tongue. It got a lot of the crap off my tongue, so yeah. A 7.5 out of 10 is fair. I'm pretty sure my tongue is bleeding. Alright, yeah, that's right. This is a putter. And this is toilet gold. Huh, you might have to go to the bathroom, right? Well, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, toilet golf. Don't know how this is gonna work for me considering the size of my arm. So, here we are in the toilet. I don't have a magazine to read. 
I have a phone. I have no distraction. But wait, mini golf? Toilet golf? You got your putter? Make it any size you want considering your arm length. As you can see, you have a beautiful putting green. Clearly well maintained. And let's go, Tiger. Hold in one. Well, I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Personally, I'd rather play actual golf, but if you're on the toilet, don't got a magazine and no other distraction, clearly the game to get. All right, now we have this. And yeah, you might be wondering what this is. It's a magic cane. And yes, it's already a cane. It's supposed to literally be a small block. I bought it, I opened it, and it literally flung into this. And I can't close it. So you know what I did? I went to my local magic shop and they had one already. And this one even comes with a cool little red thing. Unfortunately, with this one, it's plastic. It's not metal. Honestly, that thing is a safety hazard. All right, here goes nothing. Wow, pretty uneventful. You're on your couch, you're watching Netflix, you don't wanna to have to go wash your hands, but you've been eating chips and there's crap all over your fingers. Well, once again, look no further. Chip fingers. You place them on your fingers as you're eating chips so you don't get the crap all over your fingers. Then boom, you remove them, you place them wherever, and then you can enjoy your movie without even having to get up. Let's try these out. All right, so this is what these look like. You place them on your fingers. I'm assuming one goes on the thumb. That's why there's three. I have a big thumb. You can use that for like literally anything, like a saucy pizza or something. But today, we're gonna try it on Cheetos. Oh yeah, here I am in my burrito blanket. Don't mind if I do. It's actually hard to grab with these, I can't lie. Mmm, not bad. I mean the Cheetos, not the product. Boom, what would have been on your fingers is now on your finger guards. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm gonna give these like a three out of 10. It's hard to grab your food with these to be honest, but it's a pretty cool invention, pretty creative. I forget the price, I'm gonna put it right up here. Anyone want a Cheeto? All right, well honestly, that was a blast. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more of these like review type videos. Obviously I do pranks and all that funny stuff, but I actually have fun like opening products, seeing how they work and all that. Let me know in the comments below what type of videos you wanna see. And honestly, I know I keep saying this after every video, but then it's like three months later and I upload another one. I will make more videos, I promise. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. I know a lot is happening in this world. Stay positive, stay happy, and I will see you soon.